very, very rarely will find just a head, but unfortunately with no body attached. So the fact that this guy had both allows us to close that gap or they have this overlap between the body and the head that will unravel a lot of the species diversity. So we'll get a much better understanding of how do these early members of this group called the Lasmosaurs evolve uh, in the early Cretaceous, per Cretaceous period and also how many species were there around at the time.